This is your coffee break on HANradio.com. We are back with your coffee break, this extended version, live in Bennington, Vermont. I'm Kate Chaplinski, now joined by Josh Fisher. Hi, Kate. Hi, Josh. Welcome. Thank you. And we're back, uh, HANradio.com slash live stream, talking to some of the businesses and organizations here in Bennington. And right now we're joined by Jane Outwater. Jane, you are the business owner of Naps. Can I you tell am. us a little bit about Naps? Well, it's an interesting store. It has music, toys, hobbies, and we recently also opened an arcade. Oh, so wow. A lot of uh, retro things, vinyl, arcade. People come in and they feel like they're walking down memory lane, so it's fun. <laughs> That's a destination for fun. It is a destination for fun. Yeah. That's a fun business to get into. How did you get into it? Uh, Fifteen years ago, we were looking to get my husband out of the construction business, mm -hmm. and there was actually a pet and hobby store for sale, which our family purchased. We had uh, two children at home at the time, so they helped us with it. It seemed like a good fit. Uh, we, a couple of years ago, actually eliminated the pets. Um, that part of the business had decreased with the economy, and we mm -hmm. expanded toys, music, and, uh, you know, it's it seems to be a, a combination that works. Everybody really seems to, there's a big drive for, for retro, uh, whether it's toys yes. or LPs. Yes. Or So you yeah. seem to have really, you got into that at the right time, it sounds I, like. I think so. I think mm -hmm. so. People seem to enjoy it. There seems to be a little bit for everybody. Kids are happy. Adults are happy. Even men are happy in the store. <laughs> so I, I think that's a pretty good. You can uh, leave them there and do some shopping exactly. for a little yeah. while. <laughs> Sometimes it's the women that are hanging out, right. you know, with the, yep. the men in the back room that's going nice through the, the vinyl. That's so. nice to hear. <laughs> <laughs> we, we aim to please. Well, you mentioned the arcade games. What are some of the offerings? Well, we have a couple of pinball games. Nice. Uh, yeah. One is a Monopoly pinball. One is a theater of magic, which a lot of people remember. We have uh, one machine that has Pac-Man, Galuga, Frogger, a uh, lot wow. of, you know, very retro things. We have um, a driving game, a shooting game. Um, what else? Uh, I know I'm forgetting something. Um, but, you know, there's there's a few things. Air hockey. So wow. Where do you find those those old games? We actually in? work with a vending company. We don't mm. own them. So that's, uh, you right. know, okay. really nice because it's sort of, you know, not something we have to worry yeah. too much about. We provided the space and the foot traffic, and they provide the machine. Nice. So it's How much nice. does a play cost these days? 50 cents, 50 believe cents? it or not. It's yeah. not bad. It's not too bad. Nice. No, yeah. no. Not and how about some of those uh, the toys that you have? What are some of the more interesting uh, we, toys that you we sell? We carry a lot of different things. We try to keep it non-electronic. So uh, a lot of Melissa and Doug, a lot of mindware, oh, nice building things, laser pegs, um, mag formers, just some nice books for kids, right. uh, nice plush yeah. puzzles. Melissa and Doug is very neat. They're a Connecticut-based company, too. Yes, um, absolutely. Where we're coming from mm -hmm. to visit up here. And how about uh, the records that you have? The records are dependent on what comes through the door very much. Mm -hmm. uh, most of what we sell is classic rock, but we have mm -hmm. jazz, blues, country, classical. Mm -hmm. We have the whole gambit, so... Um, there's a little bit of everything, um, and it just depends on what is available out there to purchase. Yeah. It's not, I can't order. Do you buy? Is it people come in and sell to you? People come in with collections, and mm. we, we buy, you know, if it's something we think we can sell, we, we right. purchase it. Yeah. Now, Jane, 15 years in business, I mean, what would you say, how would you describe kind of the Bennington, downtown Bennington community? Uh, that's that's a tough one. Um, mm -hmm. I'm a Vermont native, Bennington yeah. native. I was born and raised here. So the downtown is very different from when I was growing up. Even when, and I was the youngest in my family, but I remember the day when you went downtown, you bought your clothes, you bought your, you bought everything downtown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There, it was a big deal if we ever went to North Adams or Pittsfield. Right. There were no malls. There was no online shopping. You know, that has out of necessity changed, right. and now it's become much more specialty mm -hmm. shops, and uh, that's where the the strength will be for right. any downtown, but, you know, ours and yeah. certainly. And it seems, I mean, it's just a beautiful community, and it seems like, mm -hmm. you know, all the business people know each other and work together, mm -hmm. which seems nice. Yeah, we, we all do that. If if I know I don't have a particular thing, I'll, s I'll say, well, try here, try there. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and we get referrals as well from, from other store owners. So, yeah, you know, we are all aware that um, the strength is 
all of us working together right. and trying to keep people spending their money locally. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're we're all very sensitive to that. Well, this is a great walking town too. It it's is gorgeous yeah. architecture. Yeah. Uh, you know the tree-lined streets and uh, the nice little Vermont mm -hmm. breeze. Rolling down Today, the yes, yeah, right. yeah. picked a good day. <laughs> We're grateful for it. <laughs> did you order that? <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> okay. But Jane, tell us again where people can find uh, can find naps. Well, we're right on Main Street, 417 Main Street. Um, it's not very far up from the Four Corners, which is the intersection of Route 7 and 9. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we're right in the the, the crux of things. Right. Yep. Excellent. All right, Jane, thanks so much for joining us and You're talking welcome. with us today. You're welcome. All right. Well, Josh, thanks, do you know Jane. what time it is? I do not. Rob, do you know what time it is? <laughs> does anyone... Eat does anybody ever really know what time it is? Uh, twelve <laughs> ten here on Coffee Breaks remains right around seventy nine degrees. You mean it's eleven ten in Chicago, right? That's there you go. Well done, Josh. <laughs> Josh got the reference. Love it. <laughs> All right, Rob. Well, we're going to take a quick reset, and uh, we'll be back with more live from Bennington, Vermont.